What is up guys, Pie Muffin here, and we are back with another Tales of Crystoria video. So, in the past few videos, I've kind of been complaining a little bit about how there's really no new content for us to test out Kanata in, uh, because the event doesn't uh, require us to use fire units. And even if it did, it's not really that hard. So, it, it wouldn't have been a really good test to see what Kanata can really do. But, we do have something that I have yet to complete. Uh, to actually use him in, which is the Shigure Transcendent Battle. For the longest time, I was kind of holding off on doing this because I was only able to clear up to stage four, and then stage five is where it requires a water team, and my light Estelle, which was my only healer at the time, um, was not cutting it. She was dying before I could do enough damage to take out the boss. Uh, but now I have Riala, so I was able to complete it with relative ease. And then luckily for me, stage 6, 7, and 8 are all fire element. Well, it requires you to have fire element. Uh, so 6 and 7 were a cakewalk with Kanata. So I was really amazed at the amount of damage Kanata did on stage 7. And uh, stage 8, I, I jumped into, but um, I ran into a slight issue. And the issue I ran into is... Uh, it's a three-wave fight, and I assume Shigure's on the final wave. I haven't made it there yet, because I only attempted it once, just to see what there was kind of in there. Um, the first wave, you need to, you know, burn, poison, whatever have you. Put some kind of damaging ailment on so you can take care of it, because it's one of those rock monsters that uh, you can't just overpower and kill. So what we're going to do here is we're going to switch Mao and Leon, because Leon has two... Um, you know, kind of burn chances. Uh, his Mystic Art is a 100% burn chance, and then his uh, Dragon Glare is an 80% burn chance. So that'll actually be very useful for this. So that's what we're going to go with, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Now, the other thing is I have to worry about is this guy, one of these uh, enemies, can paralyze. So if they paralyze Leon in the two turns I need to use his burn effects, I'm screwed. Now, of course, I could start off with it, but um, I don't think that would really benefit me in the long run. I think I want to wait till the gauge is actually up. What's this? The cooldown... You know what? Let's start with this. Burn? Oh, we didn't even, we didn't even get the burn. Um, so that's, uh, unfortunate. Um, so for right now, let's just, let's just kind of start beefing up Kanata. See, there you go. So we've really got to take out these, uh, Gorgons as fast as possible. Some good damage right there. They're all debilitated, which is nice. Just really got to be careful of that lightning blast. Um, let's just heal real quick. Kanata's power is going to keep getting beefed up. Okay, Kanata being down, I don't really mind. Because we need Leon. Okay, we got the burn that time. And then we're going to double up on it right here. That'll make it go down even faster. Which, the downside with that is that, uh, you know, his gauge is probably going to break almost immediately. So, we'll have to see what we can kind of do. And Kanata is definitely not going to get an attack off. Um, and then let's switch back to this guy. And uh, we'll just do that. All right, let's see how much that knocks it down. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Um, unfortunately, it's not so perfect because, uh, we can't attack, but th this is fine. 
Uh, that fire damage will be enough to really kind of work on uh, that enemy right there. Even if we do attack him, I mean, you're going to see right here, it's not going to do very much. Let's just go, let's do this to show. 8,000, and then... Yeah, see, only 33,000. He's not a character that really takes damage like that very well. So we don't got to worry about that. Yep, see, there goes the damage right there. So then we just need Leon's uh, cooldowns to come back up. And then we'll be good when he charges the thing up again. So for now, let's focus on this other Gorgon. Um... Nah, let's hold on to his Mystic Art for now. Just in case. Alright, so far so good. All right, now we just got to worry about this guy, which is going to be no problem at all. <laughs> now let's hit him with Debilitate as well. Oh, perfect. That's actually perfect timing. Um, you know what, let's save it. He's probably gonna die on his own. Okay, perfect. So that's wave one. All right, these are normal bosses now, so now we can just focus on, you know, hitting them where it hurts. Um, obviously, I'm not going to start off with a Mystic Art Barrage because I do want to make sure we're going to be okay. Um, so let's, let's just see what kind of happens first. Okay, that's decent damage. Let's do this first. I don't think we can burn that guy. Keep buffing up Kainz's kind of attack power. Um, yeah, we don't want to do it first turn. Um, probably should have saved that, actually. This is fine, though. See, it's like at this, I wish there was like the choice to switch characters out because here is where I'd want Mal. Um, we pretty much uh, used Leon for what we need him for. Um, but you know, it is what it is. Yeah, they're both broken. They're both gonna die. So, I almost don't even want... Mmm. Because kind of this does take a little bit to build up. But we're like full health. I'm really not worried about it. Um, 
let's hit him. I want to show off how much this is going to hit because this is just insanity. Um, so let's let's see how much we're going to do. Oh yeah, this is going to be disgusting. Over two million. Two point six million damage. Oh my god. Like, right? Okay, how much is this gonna hit for? 560,000 just for a normal attack. Well, I was hoping for another turn, but oh well. Oh, kind of, <laughs> he's just stupid. <laughs> All right, let's buff up Kanata's attack again. Really not super worried about Shigure here. I mean, even Kanata himself is knocking this down like it's nothing. Yeah, next next turn we'll uh, we'll go all in on everyone's mystic cards. I would have loved to have a divine saber up, but And then this might kill him. It's a little less power than last time, but 1.4 million, still insanity. There you go. The hardest part of the stage was the first wave taking down that guy. And it wasn't even that hard, it was just time consuming. And there you have it. Uh, this is the first time in a while where I've completed all the transcendent stages. Um, I don't think I would have been able to do it uh, to this extent without Kanata. I could probably still have done it, but it would not have been this easy. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and grab this. Um, I get my free uh, stone, which I'm saving this in case there is, you know, I, I, I guess I'll say this, you know, whether there's a Vicious Mare during the anniversary or after, um, I want to save these stones for the uh, eventual uh, Blood Sin Vicious that we will get. And of course I get the title, uh, Transcendent Shigure. And there you go, I get that. So all my Transcendent stuff is done until the next one, uh, whenever that's going to be. How long does this still have? This has eight days left, so we'll probably get another Transcendent Battle probably a little a few days after the uh, story chapter drops but uh that's pretty much it uh let me know what you guys think of Kanata down below if you've gotten a chance to use him he's pretty insane um and he definitely could have hit harder if i had those last two dupes in his memoria that i need so once he eventually does have the level 100 memoria and being you know fully maxed out he's probably gonna hit over three million uh with a full combo like that I definitely at some point would like to replace, um, which actually this Colette, you know, if I had pulled her would have been a great thing. I would like to replace Kohaku with a real combo builder. And, uh, you know, this Colette would have been a great choice for that. So if I can get this Colette eventually down the line somewhere, I think that'd be great. Cause I mean, you look at all three of her attacks and they're all really good combo builders. If, if Kanata was the only anniversary unit, um, and I wasn't worried about eventual stuff, I probably would go in on this banner and try and get Colette, but uh, uh, I'll get her down the line somewhere, and when I eventually do, she'll be the one to uh, replace Rial on my team, and then my team will really be stacked. But that's going to be it, guys. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more if you're new to the channel. I'll see you all next time. Have a wonderful day, everyone.